President Trump's budget proposes slashing NIH funding by nearly $6 billion, which is about a 20 percent cut. Massachusetts, incidentally, receives the most NIH funding out of any other state. Do you support the president's proposed budget cuts when it comes to NIH? <laughs> I, I will be the first one down lobbying against this if, if someone will sign me up for that. If people understand... Tell our viewers why, why you say that. Um, so if you look at, let's just say, Alzheimer's research. Alzheimer's research at our center, we're, we're trying to figure out something, and maybe we'll be doing it, that's completely off the grid and, and not maybe in um, the discovery of amyloid plaque. When Dr. Dennis Silko discovered and identified amyloid plaque as um, the condition for Alzheimer's, no one believed him. Didn't think it was true. Would he have gotten NIH funding? No, he wouldn't have, but he had philanthropic dollars. So that's where it starts. It starts with philanthropy. It starts with enough money that these doctors that are brilliant can think outside the box and go do some research. But then when they literally are on to something, that's why Massachusetts gets so much NIH funding, is because so much research is being done there, then they'll say, look, this is working and we'll show the progress we've made with a new theory on Alzheimer's research. And then we have to go to the NIH and, and apply for a grant. Then to get to the, to the final stage where you literally can get to the point where you can treat somebody with the drug that's going to help them. So you, you, nothing comes from nothing. If you don't have that funding, there will be nothing. There will be no, there will be no new treatments. There will be no new drug therapies. There will be progress in medicine will come to a halt. So it's not wasted spending like some in Washington or the administration. I, I don't, and I don't believe mem members of Congress believe that either. So I'm not sure it would be such a hard sell for me to go to Congress and say, do not defund NIH, because I'm sure a lot of those people will understand how significant that funding is. Um, but people just need to be educated on it and understand that if we are going to be leading <laughs> with advancements in, in science and in helping people break through with these hor horrific diseases like Alzheimer's, then NIH is absolutely critical to making that happen.